plot twist, dropping off sister at the hospital emergency trauma again because she was up all night throwing up and that was one of the triggers that they said she had to go back in hospital immediately for. Good times. Alright guys, so yeah, as I said, had to just drive her into hospital. Um, she was throwing up all night, probably a good six hours worth, and yeah, doctors gave her, when she was released, so that she could recover at home before going back for a proper operation, they gave her a list of triggers that if this happened, to try to take her back immediately. So, taking her back, um, I just dropped her off because I got beepy, so I'm back at home looking after beepers. Hello, Bobby girl. Hello. Hello. And um, yeah, so I'm looking after beepers and mum's there with anus, so yeah. If I find out something, you'll find out something, but I think the vlog might be shit today. <laughs> Just pointing out. <coughs> I don't know, we'll see how it goes. You right now, Miss Sookie Sook? You getting your outside time? She had the biggest bitch fit just then. Oh my god. Needs her outside time, don't you, you little diva? Okay, so we're going for a walk, just around the block. Hopefully we can get some stimulation in that line of yours, and then we can put you down to sleep. Because you haven't had a nap today, you need a nappy. I need a nappy too. <laughs> Alright, as I said this morning, Anus had to go back to hospital, and yeah, I said I'd give you an update. It is now night time, there was no vlog today because we had to deal with all that. And because I look like hammered shit, mum's favourite saying. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that anymore. <laughs> I made fun of mum the other day, because every time she vlogs, or every time she sneaks the camera away, she's like, Hi, I look like hammered shit, but... And then she goes on to a little rant, so, yeah, I told her she's not allowed to say it anymore. And, um, yeah, we impose these, like, no, no phrase policies on each other in the vlog for... I don't know, for a while now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mine was, mine was saying, stop saying guys. I used to say guys, like, quite a lot. And then... Before I, that, you used to say like. Like, and I say so and awesome a lot at the moment. I'm trying to wean myself off that. So, I anyway... So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, I figured that mum was actually at the hospital today so she can explain and give you all the nitty-gritty before I go to bed. Look, I start to unpack. I look, I unpacked two boxes. See, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> He's such a jerk. All right, go. Not the, not the, not the bloody, the long-winded drainer version. Just the, the okay. quick, the three-minute version. When she was sent home two weeks ago, they told her that she, they wanted her to come home for a month because they were. The, it was too dangerous for them to do the operation, right? Because things were jumbled up inside. But they told her that if she had any pain whatsoever, that she had to go back to the hospital quick smart. Right? Two days ago, she complained that she had upper backache. And that's the start. So, it's gradually got worse till this morning. She woke up 2 a.m. in screaming pain, vomiting continuously. Um, so obviously something's happened inside. She lasted till 10 o'clock this morning. Tana rushed us once again to the emergency ward at the hospital. Um, they got in and they seen her straight away. Um, and what's happened is that because her gallbladder is perforated, uh, gallstones have again seeped out of the hole or slit or whatever's in there and um, spread throughout her body which has caused her liver and her pancreas once again to fail. Can I tell you out the battery's about to die? Oh, so uh, they're going to do a small operation tomorrow to try and to try and retrieve the gallstones. They've got to try and stop the inflammation. They've got to try and get the pancreas down. And if they can't do any of that, they're going to try and take the gallbladder out even though they don't want to because it's still too dangerous. Because her pancreas is four times the size that it was. And what's happened is her great surgical team that she had before, um, they heard that she was at the hospital. Thousands and thousands of patients at the hospital. What camera switching? Continue. <laughs> thousands of patients at the hospital. And they see her name come up, the main surgeon she had last time. He comes searching for her in the emergency ward. He bumps the doctor that's got her at the moment and took over her case again. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, I must admit, I'm not 
But yeah, I didn't have a, a teary moment when she was in hospital again. But when I seen... She lost the plot. <laughs> well, when I seen that doctor come in that saved her life two weeks ago, I lost my shit. I didn't let anybody know. I hope I didn't because it would have been slightly embarrassing to be crying because the doctors walked into the room. But as soon as I seen that young guy walk in, and I mean young guy, he's about 27, 8, I suppose, um, and say, hi, I'm here. <laughs> dun, da, da, dun, da, da. Yeah, that's what I felt like. So she's in great hands. She's been shifted to the trauma ward. Um, they come to the operation tonight. They're going to hopefully do it tomorrow. And, um, or yeah. She, yeah, they don't do it tomorrow because it's Easter weekend at the moment. She'll be in there all weekend and won't get the operation done until possibly Tuesday. So we're hoping it gets done tomorrow. Because if it doesn't get done the next Tuesday, she's still got a two, three day recovery period after she gets the operation done. So she doesn't really want to be in hospital for another week. She wants to out of there ASAP. And I bet she hasn't thought of the fact yet that she's not, she's going to miss. No, don't say it. She watches the vlog. Oh, anyway. Okay, you guys can pretty much work out what she's, she was about yeah, to say. She's on very strong morphine. She sent me some jumbled message on Facebook. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's um, yeah, they're looking after her. She's, I'm not worried. They're, she's got her old new team surrounding her again. Um, yeah. Fantastic hospital. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow and we'll give you an update then. That was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. So yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I filmed my first year of vlogs on this thing. The quality's such a downer, isn't oh it? Oh my god. Yeah. The old flip cam. Hold on, I gotta take this to the bathroom so I can put the cameras side by side. Okay, you just stay there. Don't don't follow on nothing. Jesus Christ. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I can't believe oh, my shit. I can't believe I used this thing for my first full year of vlogs and then I upgraded to the black one and then I eventually ended up with that. Look. Hey guys, what's going on? Wait a second, I'll get it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, a vlog of pro. That's just so weird. I miss the flip cam sometimes though, so much easier to carry. See this thing here? takes a good 10 seconds to turn on and start recording because the touch screen is not that spectacular. I actually hate it. This thing here, flip cam, still three seconds from go to woe. Anyway, oh, hello, you still in here? I've got to, I've got to say something else. Yeah. Right. Why don't you sit on that little stool there? Oh, this is my, my computer chair, you mean? Yeah. Because we got through the other one out when we move. Yeah. Do you know how I know that your life has changed? My life has changed? How? That's not my mattress by the way, that's my sister's mattress with the day bed. We brought it in because it's raining outside. Um, yeah. This is, that's your computer workstation and your gaming station. Yeah. And on it is a baby's bottle and baby neuropen. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is my life now. <laughs> Look. This is my life. Because you had to look after Beaky today <laughs> look, look, while we were at the hospital. Man stuff, man stuff, man stuff, man stuff. Frickin' Dalek. Aftershave. Man stuff, man stuff. Samsung Galaxy Tab. Man stuff, man stuff. Baby stuff. <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> and another thing. Uh, I just put in. What? Beaky's not feeling very well. Baby's getting teethy. Yeah. yeah. So, so she's, that's why she's style. so pissy at the moment. That's why we got the neurofin. And fast effective relief that takes one hour to take effect. Yeah, fast effective relief is a load of shit because it took one hour. But yeah, so she's not feeling very well. She's not drinking. She's not eating. She's just crying all the time. <sighs> okay, that's enough. I had four hours sleep last night because you woke me up at the crack of dawn. You had to take us to the emergency ward. No, I meant with, with Anus this morning when she, she was... She was vomiting because like, she had... Bloody... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What happened to the three minute version? We're up to five minutes plus whatever we recorded on the blue camera. This is what happened today. You have to tell everybody what happened today. This is what happened today. Piss off. I want to go to bed. I'm watching The Voice. Uh, that'll put me to sleep. Shut up. Okay, come on. Ah.